Hi future unicorns. I am sending you another custom video. <laughs> Why? Um, one, because I just refuse to give up on you all. Um, you registered for the Unicorn Wellness Challenge and then you didn't hop in. Not yet. And so anytime I see that happen, I go, it's as if we had a brick and mortar studio and you keep standing outside the studio and there's just something that's not allowing you to come in. And so these videos are my way of opening the studio door, stepping outside, holding the door open for you, and lending you my hand and say, come in, please, there's a spot for you, okay? So the Unicorn Wellness Challenge, you registered for it. There was something in the messaging and the challenge that really spoke to you, that resonated at a gut level, something that you were interested in. So um, I'm not giving up. <laughs> um, if you feel like, okay, I didn't, I didn't start last week, I didn't go activate my registration code, I didn't get on the mat, I didn't download my handbook, and I'm totally late to the party, so forget it. Like I didn't, I did, it's not happening. And I'm saying, no, you didn't miss anything, okay? So I got a ton of feedback, people, you know, hundreds of people excited about this. And then I, this ton of feedback that there was a ton of sicknesses, there was crazy weather stuff going, and people just, it was like they were tripping over their shoelaces and it just it hadn't happened, didn't start. You were not late to the party. So because of all of this feedback, um, I'm gonna redo the first week meaning we're just gonna repeat it. So we have hundreds of people who have started, okay? But that's cool. They're looking at this like a bonus week. Like, awesome, because I did start, but it wasn't really my best effort. And so we're just repeating week one. So I'm reaching out to you all to say, I'm not giving up on you all. You all are unicorns, right? You have this calling and you understand what that sparkle and shine is and means that when you cultivate this magic in yourself by self-care and self-respect that that allows you to show up better in the world and to make a genuine positive impact in the world because you are taking care of yourself and working on your evolution and your evolvement and loving and tending to yourself better okay so I just wanted to reach out and say I'm totally here I totally support you you're a unicorn you can feel it right but being a unicorn means what it means that you're gonna have to get on the mat with me you're gonna have to do the workouts they're only 30 minutes at a time and they're totally accessible to all fitness levels okay and that you're gonna have to have an M&K account and it's completely free and you're gonna need to go download the free handbook so that you can enter into these 30 days and get to your best sparkle and shine by the end of it and if you don't remember what you registered for or why you wanted to do it the first week is all about your workouts and hydration super simple Okay. The second week is more about food and fuel and people get a little sketchy about that one. I keep it very educational and just give you choices and some easy accessibility tactics to make it better. Okay. The third week is self care, which I love that topic. And then the last week is spiritual ritual. Okay. And I am all about bringing the ritual back. I think it's really important and not the ritual, any spiritual rituals, but I have my favorites. Okay. And one of my favorites is tarot. So I thought it'd also be fun when I reach out and I go, you guys registered, but you didn't, you're not there yet, right? And so I thought it'd be fun to do a quick little three card reading for you. Um, the readings that I typically do and what we'll be using at the end of this session in week four um, of this 30 day challenge is just a three card pull. One for your body, one for your mind, one for your spirit, okay? These are posted on YouTube and I'll be sharing links to these. Um, at the end in this fourth week for you. But I thought it'd be fun to be like, where are you guys at this week? What is going on? <laughs> Maybe I should have done it for last week, right? Um, so let's just see. So I'll pull the three cards. I'll show them to you as we go. I use them really more as an intuitive read. Sometimes I use the traditional meanings of the cards and sometimes I just go with what I'm getting. But I really wanted to do one for you all because one of all the feedback and two, you guys registered you wanted this you're a unicorn at heart you just need some practice and you need a little bit of a teacher right a guide let me be your guide okay um, it's not about perfection around here it's about cultivating your best self 
and about putting your best effort out there and really being connected and aware and intelligent about what you're doing so that you can make balanced choices and that you can show up better in the world and that you can make a positive impact in the world, right? Okay, and it all starts with yourself. If there's no self-love and no self-connection, you cannot connect to anybody else or really help anybody else. And I think it's more important now than ever that we tend to ourselves with self-care and that we really make our voices heard in our communities of how to make things better and stronger for everyone, okay? So here we go. Body, mind, I'll lay them over here and then I'll pick them up. And spirit, okay? And what is the date today? I'm like, what week is this? We're repeating week one. We're gonna have a do-over. We're getting extra time. I so wanna sing share right now, I've turned back time. Um, so this today is the 16th that I'm doing this um, of January. So just think of these three cards, this three card spread for your next week, okay? So body, mind, and spirit. The body card is seven of pentacles, which is great. It's a great card. So pentacles is, is earthy and benevolence and giving um, and understanding that, you know, what you give you also receive. Um, <laughs> seven is actually like the self-care card. Um, we think lucky number seven, the good things in life come because of like grand luck and anybody who thinks that, you know, they have grand luck, they'll tell you they worked really hard for it. And it's about that self-assessment, self-evolution, and really putting the work in to better yourself in order to give yourself more opportunities and to be prepared when luck and timing arrive, okay? so. <laughs> very appropriate card that the body card is that this is where you all are at that you need to put the time in and you need to put the effort in I swear I don't make this up this is what came out um, you need to put the time and the effort in and it's got to be repetitive and consistent and then that will reap the rewards for you, right? So that's the whole deal with wellness, especially when it comes to the physical fitness side of things in your body. It's about consistency. But you can work smarter. You do not have to work harder. I'm about a kind and intelligent approach in 30 minutes at a time. So in this session, you can do two a week, any, the 30 minute workouts, or you can do up to six. But it's about, and I explain all of that in the handbook. Um, you gotta put the time in. Your brain knows that you need this. Um, but you've got, you have to put the effort in. I can't work out for you. I can teach you everything. I can hold your hand. I can support you. I love doing that. I love being a part of people's evolution. Okay. But you act, you have to do the doing and the repetition. Um, mind card. Woo -hoo, look at that one. Your mind is all over the place right now. <laughs> okay. So this is the nine of swords. Um, nine is, is a number of karmic endings. Um, and swords is intellect and, and thought process and swiftness and action, right? But it's really about in that acumen and intelligence and, and, and thought. So this is always a fascinating one to me because there's earthworms in it. And earthworms are this huge um, symbolism for rebirth and regeneration and starting fresh and new. But when you chop them in half, you know, the tail grows again or the head grows again. Um, and they're earthy and, and rooted and, and of the earth and very connected. So, you know, your mind right now is connected to things bigger than yourself and your community and, and where we come from. Um, but it is showing that there is time to, to ditch and, and kill off some of the junk that's in there and some of the bad habits and really get to seeing with these, you you know the with the side of regeneration and rebirth and possibility um, and that rooty earthiness again so your brains you know you're working on these things like you're, you're putting a lot of thought towards it is what I'm getting and that you want to be able to see clearly but in order to do that you're gonna have to cut some things off at the past and let them grow in a new way it's possible right and and unicorns are that symbol of infinite possibility that's what you want but you need to know how to cut off the old habits and let them rebirth anew in a really grounded and, and rooted way um, which is what I do we're not about extremes I don't teach you extreme I teach you real simplicity is what I teach um, it's really about alchemy it's about taking out the crap and just leaving the gold um, so nine of swords interesting very interesting there's an old ship that's sinking here you gotta get rid of the old junk yep okay 
and then your spirit card. This is one of those cards that when you show it, people go, oh, well, it's dying. Okay, so five of pentacles. So five is change. Um, it's just, it's time for a change. And so, you know, a gorgeous rose at some point starts to lose its petals. This is the spirit card. So I'm feeling like, you know, things are a little sad, a little droopy, and a little like, ugh, feeling really heavy, which is totally act on par right now in the world and totally on par energetically and astrologically. Um, but the beauty of it is, is what happens when something dies and passes on and its time is finished, then there's room for something new and beautiful to begin. So every ending is truly a fresh start and a new beginning. It's all how you handle the transitions. It's all how you learn from those processes and what you learn from those processes and the spin that you take on it, right? Because perspective is, is your choice. Um, do you take it as, as, as pessimistic or do you take it as optimism and you look at it as an opportunity? I am a you know, crazy, oppor oppor not opportunist, that's not the right word, but um, of optimism and, 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 and thinking in that positive manner. So yes, a little sad, a little dying. So the spirit here is having some trouble in this week of like, meh, feeling very heavy, feeling like things are just dying and like somebody pour some water on my spirit, okay? And again, to tie it in, you know, to become a unicorn, that's the beauty of a unicorn is that the spirit is effervescent and it's sparkling and shining and it reflects infinite hope. That does not mean they don't understand sadness, it means that they ultimately, deeply understand change and how to constructively use it for the new beginning and the fresh start, okay? So it's a five of pentacles and pentacles again is that earthly, you know, give and take, abundance and benevolence, charity and giving and some you know karmic cyclical things to it too because what you give you get back so there's a huge transition and change right here in your spirit and you may be feeling like oh all these old things are dying but the beauty of that is that something brand new and fresh begins okay so that's your three card reading for this week um i hope that you'll really go activate your codes and, and hop in to class and start to meet the community of Matt and Kitcheners all over the world and let me be your teacher. I love to teach. I, I love it. Um, I don't know the, why that's what I'm good at, but it is. And that's how I can be my best self in the world. And that's how I feel constructive and helpful in creating positive change in the world. Um, but if I don't have students, then I don't get to be a teacher. So I'm always grateful for new students. And you said you were interested. I'm not giving up on you. I'm stepping outside of the studio and saying, please come in. I really want to meet you. <laughs> and I really want to teach you. And we do fun stuff like tarot card readings. And we look at the world in a larger spectrum and in a positive spectrum. So please, I hope to see you on the map. I hope to see you in the Unicorn Wellness Challenge.